Hi guys, so today I filmed a makeup tutorial for this look that I'm wearing right here. It's kind of just a fiery red kind of smoky look and I think it's really fun and still wearable. So if you want to find out how I did it, keep on watching. I'm going to be starting with my Nivea Post Shade Balm as a primer and I just take a little bit on my fingers like this warm it up and then rub that all over my skin until it gets tacky make sure going under my eyes being very gentle for foundation another thing I love to use always is my Maybelline Fit Me stick foundation and I am in the color classic ivory I am a little more pale than usual um, this summer because I have not been Oh, as much so I just kind of do stripes all over my face like this and then I just take my Real Techniques foundation blender and blend that in once I'm done with that I'm going to be taking my Maybelline Fit Me concealer this has always been my favorite concealer so I'm just gonna take this and go a little bit in the corner of my eyes and a little bit out on the edges of my eyes like that and down my nose so I'm just going to be using a clean beauty blender for this and just bounce that right in underneath my eyes. And then going in quickly before I set my under eyes, I'm going to be priming my eyelids with my Urban Decay Primer Potion. So I'm just going to be putting a little bit onto my eyelids and then blend that in with my finger. And after that, I go back in with my beauty blender and just go under my eyes just to make sure that there was no creasing from waiting before I set. To set, I'm using my Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder. I can't believe I used so much stuff from the Fit Me line. I always thought that I didn't really like the Fit Me line, but it's because I don't really like the pressed powder. Um, but I love this loose powder, and in my last video, um, I talked about how my roommate showed me this powder, and it is incredible. So I definitely recommend you try it, and it's super cheap, so it's perfect. So I just take it on another sponge. This one's dry, and then I just go under my eyes like this. So I'm just doing some baking with this. I'm going to leave this on my face while I do my eyeshadow. So I just kind of do all of the areas on my face. I just do like my T-zone. And then I go over my eyelids just to set that primer. And then while I'm letting that bake on my face for a little bit, I'm going to go ahead and do my eyebrows. For that, I use my L'Oreal Brow Stylist Shape and Fill. It looks like this. I love this pencil. I've gone through so many of these. I just really like the way that it works for my eyebrows and like the color match and everything so my color is blonde so I'm just gonna go in and just lightly fill in my brows I don't really do too much I just kind of follow the natural shape of my brow so now that I'm done with my brows I'm gonna go move on to my eyes so we'll zoom in a little bit so for the eyeshadow today I'm mostly going to be using the Too Faced gingerbread palette it's really close up um, because this has a lot of reds and pinks and stuff like that. This is what it looks like. The first thing I'm going to do is go in with a transition shade and for that I'm going to be using the color Plenty of Dough. And I'm just going to be putting that all over my lid and then kind of up into my crease. Just for a blending color so we can keep kind of going back to that and blending. Next, I'm going to be going in with a little brush like this. It's a little more flat and fluffy. And I'm going to be going in with the color Soft and Sweet. So I'm going to be taking that flat brush and starting at the base of my lid and kind of applying that to my lash line a little bit. And then we're going to work our way up and kind of blend up with that. So I'm going to go about halfway up my eyelid with this shade. Okay, so once we have that on and it's kind of like blended in like that, I'm going to be going in with Extra Spicy, which is a little bit more of a reddish kind of color, and this more tapered brush like this, and I'm going to be dipping that in, and then this one is going to stay as close to the lash line as possible. So we're going to kind of, we're doing like layers, so this one is going to go like right onto the lash line very close. Almost as if you're applying eyeliner. Once you have that kind of onto your lash line, you're going to start to blend upwards with that just so it blends in nicely with that last pink that we did. So I'm just going to use the same brush. I kind of wiped off the excess on the brush 
and I'm just going to use that same brush and just kind of start blending upwards. So just kind of going across and just kind of patting it so it continues to blend upwards. And then going back in with the brush we used for the pink eyeshadow and just using a tiny bit more, like not a lot at all, just a little bit more of that pink shade and kind of going where they meet and just kind of keeping that blended out and nice and smooth so we don't have any harsh lines. And then as you can see on this eye, I have a little bit of kind of fallout down there. So I'm just going to take a clean, giant fluffy brush and just kind of blend that away so we get the shape that we want over here. Now I'm going to move on to my lower lash line. So for that, I'm going to be using Extra Spicy again, which is that red shade we put on the lash line. So I'm going to be taking a smaller, flatter kind of brush like this and dipping in there and going right and just kind of running that on my lower lash line right underneath my lashes. Bringing it all the way in. And then going back in with the brush that we used for the pink but not adding any more product on it and just kind of using that to just blend out that lower lash line so it's not too harsh. So I was debating putting a little bit of a shimmery color on my lid, but I think it could ruin the look, so I'm just going to keep this a nice matte look um, for today. So now we are done with the eyeshadow, so I'm going to move on to eyeliner. For eyeliner, I'm just going to be using a very thin tipped black liquid eyeliner, and um, this one I just got in my Ipsy box. I'm not sure how to pronounce the name, but this is what it looks like. It's just a nice thin felt tip eyeliner pen. So with this, I'm just going to be doing a super, super thin line right on my upper lash line and then doing the tiniest little flick on the outside. Actually, I can't decide if I want to do the flick on the outside. I'm going to see how just the line looks and then I will see if I decide to add a little bit of a flick. So I just did the line on my upper lash line with that black eyeliner and I decided that I don't want to do a little bit of a wing on the outside which is very weird for me because I literally almost never leave the house without winged eyeliner. So um, that's weird for me but I'm thinking that it's going to look best with this eyeshadow look. Now I am going to wait for that to dry a little bit before I do my mascara and I'm going to work on my face a little bit. So I'm going to start with bronzing up my face a little bit because I have absolutely no color from putting on that powder and baking with it. So I'm just going to be taking my Hoola bronzer as always and then just a little kind of angled fluffy brush like this and just doing some kind of harsh lines first and then I'm going to blend them out after. So now going in with a bigger fluffy brush from Real Techniques and a little bit more of that product just kind of going on my cheeks and just kind of blending those lines out. Okay, now that my bronzer's done and my eyeliner is dry, I'm going to do mascara, but I'm going to do it off camera just because it's so much easier to do off camera and you guys know how to put on mascara. So for that, of course, I'm going to be using my Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. It's the best thing I've ever tried. If you haven't ever tried it, please go out and get it and try it because it will change your life. <laughs> so I'll be right back once I do my lashes. So I just put on my mascara and while I was doing my mascara, I realized I forgot to put in my earrings, so... Now they're in. Um, okay, so I just finished mascara. I used the Better Than Sex mascara, like I said, in waterproof, of course, because it keeps my eyelashes curled all day long. But now I'm going to be moving on to blush, and I don't want to go too crazy with the blush because the eyes are already really red. So for blush today, I'm going to be using the uh, Dandelion blush from Benefit, and I just have this little sample size one. Um, it's just super natural. It's just like a really light pink, and it just looks really natural on the cheeks because I don't want to go overboard because of the eyes, like I said. So I'm just taking a little brush like this. And dipping it in there and just kind of smiling and going right on the apples of my cheeks very gently. And then I always put just a little bit on my nose just because I think it's really cute. 
So as you can see, I didn't do too much, but it just added a little bit of color back into my skin. So now I'm going with highlighter, and I want to do kind of a more natural highlight, um, just because the eyes are crazy, and I want to go kind of more gold so it doesn't compete with the eyes. So for that, I'm just using my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Soft and Gentle. This is a classic. I love this highlighter. It's so natural, but it's so glowy. I'm just taking a Real Techniques um, setting brush, I think, and I'm just dipping into that. And then just putting that right on the tops of my cheekbones. Just for some glow. And I am going to bring it up just a little bit right above my eyebrows. Just a little bit. And then bring a little bit down my nose like that. And then just to make sure that there's no harsh lines or anything like that, I just take my blush brush again. I don't put anything else on it. Just to be sure that my bronzer, blush, and highlight all kind of blend together and there's no harsh streaks or lines or anything. And then I'm saving the best part for last. And I actually wasn't sure if I was going to do this just because the eyes are so intense. But um, I do love doing this. So I'm going to take my Ofra highlighter. This is the one with Nikki Tutorials and it's in Glazed Donut. And I'm just taking a super tiny little brush like this and dipping it in and some days I go really crazy with this but today I'm just gonna go a little bit just to kind of open up my eyes and I just put that right in the corner of my eye like that just for a little bit more pop I just think it makes it look really good it opens up my eyes a lot and it just draws attention more to the eyes So for lips today, I'm just going to be doing a nice silver gloss, and this one, I think I talked about it in my last video, I got it in my Ipsy box, and it's just like a super glossy kind of silver lip, and I love this because it kind of picks up whatever colors you have in the rest of your makeup, so it's perfect. And so there's the lips, so that's it for the makeup. Okay, so that's it for the makeup. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video today. I think it's a super fun look, and I think it's still pretty wearable, so you guys should definitely try it out, and if you do, make sure to send me pictures. So don't forget to subscribe if you're not already, and give this video a thumbs up, and I'll talk to you guys in my next video very soon.